James Monroe Iglehart has been a Broadway fixture for years. He won the Tony in 2014 for his performance as the genie in Aladdin. And since then, we've seen him in Hamilton as both Lafayette and Jefferson, plus Freestyle Love Supreme on Broadway and in the Hulu documentary. And now, for a limited time, he's starring in Chicago as the slick-talking defense attorney, Billy Flynn. I had a chance to catch up with James to talk about his latest great role and a whole lot more. I know it's a limited run, but it's a fun one. It's not all the time you get to be in a, in a classic uh, musical, especially nowadays. And also one that's been running. I mean, th this is a historic show. There's two shows on Broadway with the history like this. There's Phantom, the longest running show on Broadway. And then there's Chicago, the longest running American musical on Broadway, 25 years. And the fact that I get to be a part of that lineage and that, you know, that legacy is fantastic. And also, you know, I get three of the best songs on Broadway, you know. <laughs> What, what's your fa what's your favorite? Because those are the best songs. You know, it, okay, it's really hard to choose, but here's the reason why. First of all, uh, I have been on Broadway for many years, and I've had some great introductions. But I will say, all I you know, all I care about is love is up there. Oh. There's just these beautiful women singing about right. we want Billy. And then I show up. And he's like, come on. It's like, my, the high school me is like, exactly how I thought my life should be. Um, and then there's, uh, we both reach for the gun, which I love stuff like that. The switching between characters and the silliness of it, but also just the, the, the fun way that the words work, you know, the way that Kander and Ev wrote the song. It's just a great tune. And then there is just the Broadway fossiness and coolness of yep. Razzle Dazzle. So I can't really choose. I'm just glad I get to sing all three. So I was like, okay, this is this is this is great. Now are you adding any of your flair to them? You know, I do add my flair, but it's a flair that people haven't seen. Oh. There is a uh, most people see what I like to call James Iglehart with the with the volume turned up to twenty, which I have no problem doing. That's that is that's that has been my bread and butter, and hey, I enjoy it. All. It works. It works for me, but there is a there's a fun you know slow burn that I enjoy, and it kind of reminds me of my dad of how my dad was when we were in the house. You know, um, he all he too could be with the volume turned up, but there was a there was a coolness about my father that uh, I always wanted and he could talk to you, especially his kids, uh, in this voice that nobody got to hear because nobody was ever in trouble. <laughs> so um, when we were in trouble, my dad didn't yell. He did not yell, but he spoke in this low rumble that lets you know, oh, death is coming. We probably should prepare. Uh, have I done everything I want to do today? Because I may not make it to tomorrow. <laughs> that kind of thing. You know? <laughs> And so there's a there's a rumble and there's a there's a control that Billy has that I've never really got to use on stage. I've actually used it in other in other TV shows. I did the show Maniac on Netflix, and there was kind of that I kind of stepped into that moment. I was like, oh, let me take, steal if I can steal Dad's voice to see what happens. And so when I got to Billy, I was like, I know where I want to go with this. Mrs. Maisel, time to start the show. I started to watch the Marvel's Mrs. Maisel um, last night, and so I ju I'm just on the very first episode, but I understand that somebody I know might be a part of that. Charlie's fun. Uh, he's the piano player at this club that she's that she's working at, and uh, it was it was a, just a fun thing just to be there because she is so she wow. has so much to say. I think when we look at a TV show, we look at the character. Mm -hmm. We don't look at what the work is. And the amount of words, the amount of monologues and things that that woman has to say all the time, I just had no, I have nothing but the utmost respect for her. She is incredible. And then on top of that, she's the lead in the show and she's the sweetest person in the world. The oh. crew is wonderful. The, the, the whole atmosphere there at uh, The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, I had the best time. Also, uh, you know, there's, there's just something about being on a show that knows what it is. Yeah. And, you know, the director, uh, she knew, uh, the producers know, they know what they have, and they have no problem just going, this is what we do. And uh, once you know that, you're like, cool, this is what we do. Her character's a comedian, for those other who don't know or watch the show. Uh, and, you know, when you're a comedian, you write your own stuff and you just have to go. 
she has to read all this stuff, memorize it, and then bring it to life as if she's doing it on the spot in front of a people laughing. She has such fantastic comedic timing that you do end up laughing on each take. And we had a couple takes where we did the same monologue Right. over and over and over because we had to get the overhead shot behind her they were doing a camera shot around her they do it from the side they do it from the you know looking at me but she still we started to hear her voice so there were so many but we spent like a whole day on this one thing that she did and she was on it every single time